And the Coast Guard today seized more than $220 million worth of drugs, and they offloaded it right here in San Diego. Our Clara Benitez joins us live along the Embarcadero with more on the team effort that made this possible. Clara. Well, good evening. Like you just mentioned, it was a team effort. Now that includes three U.S. Coast Guard crews and it also included a Canadian ship as well. Now together, they were able to seize 11,000 pounds of cocaine and 5,000 pounds of marijuana. And like we mentioned, that ship that ended up dropping off this drug load, well, this was their first narcotic mission. Whether you are a kingpin or a crew member, you are on our radar, and it's just a matter of time before you are caught and brought to justice. Thousands of pounds of cocaine and marijuana with a street value of $223 million seized off the eastern Pacific coast. And represent eight interdictions of suspected drug smuggling vessels between February and March of 2022. Three U.S. Coast Guard crews and one Canadian ship able to take 11,300 pounds of cocaine and 4,076 pounds of marijuana off the streets. Between the Coast Guard Cutter Kimball, the Coast Guard Cutter Laguerre, the Coast Guard Cutter Spencer, and the Canadian Coast Guard Her Majesty Canadian Ship Yellowknife. Sky Fox capturing Coast Guard Cutter Kimball dropping off pallets of the illicit drugs Thursday morning. Uh, illicit drugs cost our country nearly $200 billion every year in crime, health, safety, and lost productivity. U.S. District Attorney for Southern California Randy Grossman says stopping these drugs before they reach our shores is a top priority for the United States. Recently using a drug seizure to indict a Guatemalan drug kingpin. To all who are involved in the dangerous and illegal drug trafficking business. You cannot hide your crimes on the high seas. A warning for all those involved in the drug trafficking business. Now, this was the first drug offload here in San Diego. And well, what happens to those drugs? Well, they are then handed off to the DEA, where they are processed and then destroyed. Live here from the Embarcadero, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.